I've decided that it is time to film a products I've used up video. I've been accumulating all of these empties over the past few months or so and I have quite a bit built up now. These have actually become one of my favorite videos to watch. I don't know why, I just really love watching them. They're just really good videos if you're looking for new products to try out. I love basically just getting like a ton of mini product reviews in one video. Got my big Sephora bag filling up with empty products. I don't even know everything that's in this bag anymore. I've just been throwing things in all winter. A lot of it is going to be Lush products though. For those of you who don't know, I used to work for Lush and before I left in the fall, I kind of stocked up on a lot of products. So I'm like slowly using all those up still. And I've also accumulated a lot of like deluxe size sample products over the winter. So there's gonna be a handful of those in there too. And this video is probably going to be really long as it is because I have quite a few products to talk about, so let's get started. So the first product in my bag is just one of these Onyx Professional 100% Acetone Nail Polish Remover. This is all I use to remove my nail polish. It's perfect for removing glitter polishes and other stubborn nail polishes. I've already repurchased this because I go through it super fast. Next, I just have this pack of the Ole Henriksen Truth To Go Makeup Wipes. I bought this in the little um, Black Friday set that they had from Ole Henriksen, so it was just a little kind of trial pack of 10 wipes. I did like these. They had a really, really strong vitamin C kind of scent. Like they smelled like the chewable vitamin C tablets that you can buy. And I wasn't crazy about that, but in terms of actually removing my makeup, they did a really good job. They were well saturated, didn't sting my eyes or my face, and they didn't noticeably make me break out. I'm pretty sure these are on the pricier side though, so they're not something I'm running out to repurchase, but I would use them again. And also from that Black Friday set, I have the Ole Henriksen African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. You might be able to see that this isn't completely empty. I just wasn't crazy about this cleanser. I've heard some people rave about it, and when I read reviews, the thing most people seemed to really like about it was they said that it didn't leave their skin feeling like dried out and tight after washing their face but for me this cleanser actually left my skin feeling dried out more than any other cleanser I've ever tried and I don't have really dry skin I'm more on the oily side so that was kind of weird so I don't like the pump you can kind of see there's like a lot of product like crusted up on there so now when I try pumping some out it just kind of it's like discolored it's not like a white foam like it used to be and it's just kind of gross I decided just to throw this out and not continue using it because yeah, wasn't the greatest. Next, I just have a few different makeup removers. One of them is the Lancome Be Facile. This one, I really liked it. It's really good for removing stubborn and waterproof makeup. These other two are little mini versions of the Shiseido, the Skincare Instant Eye Lip Makeup Remover. These were just freebies that I ended up getting. This one was good too, it was really gentle. I really like both of these, they're both just really effective for removing makeup. Neither of them irritated my sensitive eyes. See, so yeah, I like both of these, once again, not rushing out to repurchase them. Next I have a conditioner and it is the Organics Anti-Breakage Keratin Oil Conditioner. This is the first thing I've ever tried from the brand Organics. I know a lot of people like them. This conditioner was decent, it wasn't good, it wasn't bad. I prefer to use deep conditioners whenever I wash my hair, so it wasn't quite thick enough. The product wasn't quite um, thick enough and nourishing enough for my liking, but this wasn't bad. Next, I have an empty Lush Tea Tree Toner Water. This is one of the products that I stocked up on before I left Lush. So I already have repurchased it and I have another one that I'm working on now. I used to exclusively use Lush's skincare and it worked amazing for me, but my skin just kind of naturally like adjusted to it and it just doesn't work the same way for me that it used to. But I will use up my new bottle. It is a good toner. It's good for controlling oil, but I just don't notice a huge difference with it in my skin anymore. Next, I have two mini bottles of the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Cleanser. Packaging is really gross. It started to leak out. Yeah, this is something I've also already repurchased. I will continue to repurchase this cleanser. It's just my favorite. I've talked about it many times before, so I'm not going to too much now. I have another conditioner. This is the Living Proof Full Conditioner, also from a Black Friday set. I really like this, actually. It was very hydrating for the hair, and it did leave my hair feeling full and thick. This is something that I would buy the full size in the future, but I have other conditioners that I'm using currently. And then I also have two mini cans of the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is just the clean and classic original scent. I bought one of these because it was the first time I was trying it, and then the second one was for my vacation. This is the only spray dry shampoo that I genuinely like. I talked about it in my February favorites, so if you want to know more what I think about it, link that video in the down bar. And I have repurchased a full size can that I'm currently working on. And then I used up one of my Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salves. This is a product that I used a while ago, so I just had tubes left over that I'm trying to use up. It's basically just a really thick, nourishing hand cream. Really good if you have like severely dry hands or eczema or anything like that. That's what I use it for. This works really well for me in the winter, and it doesn't leave my hands feeling greasy or anything. But I am looking to try out some new hand creams, so I'm going to use the rest of these up, and then I probably will try something new. And then I have two of my NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencils. One of them is the shade medium brown, and the other is, I believe, just brown. I don't know if there's actually a difference. 
Well, it says they're a different number, but can't live without these. These are, I think, my holy grail brow product. Next product is the Lush Jasmine and Henna Fluff Ease Hair Treatment. This is my favorite hair treatment from Lush. It says, a pre-wash treatment to get control of fluffy, untamed hair and leave it soft and shiny. So, like with all of Lush's hair treatments, you apply this to dry hair about 20 minutes or however long you want before you shower and then you shampoo and condition it out. This one is meant to help with like frizzy dry hair and for me I really like this one because it really strengthens my hair. I have naturally straight hair and it leaves my hair super sleek and straight like right after getting out of the shower. Then I have a little tub of Helping Hands hand cream from Lush. This is a hand cream that Lush originally made for nurses and anyone who's constantly washing their hands. It has lots of soothing ingredients like lavender, chamomile, almond oil. It is a really thick hand cream. A very small amount goes a long way. If you overdo it, your hands will feel kind of greasy and gross. I'd only recommend this if you do have like severely, severely dry hands. Otherwise, it's just going to feel too thick. But yeah, I use this stuff up really fast in the winter. I can't live without it. And I'm pretty sure I have another empty one somewhere too, but I can't find it. So maybe it'll be in my next empties video. And then I have two of these mini Bosha face masks. This one is the Luminizing Black Mask, and this one is the Bright White Mask. Really bright on the screen. I got these in a 500 point perk back from Sephora. I had tried the Luminizing Black Mask before. These are really nice detoxifying peel off masks. I do leave my skin feeling absolutely squeaky clean. I think I like the Bright White Mask a little bit better. It's because I've been really into products that kind of like enhance the skin's radiance and makes your skin bright. You, however, have to use a lot of product when you apply these for them to actually like peel off. If you put on a thin layer, you'll be stuck there peeling off little chunks of it for like an hour afterwards. And that's kind of the only thing that stopped me from repurchasing the full size. They're kind of expensive and I don't know how long a full size tube will actually last me because of that. But I do recommend these. Peel off masks are always really fun. And I'll never pass up the opportunity to sample these or get them in like a value set. Next product is the Revlon Quick Dry Base Coat. I also have a top coat that I used up. It's just the Sally Hansen, um, it's the one in the red bottle, the one that's supposed to dry within like 30 seconds. I'll talk about this one first though because I can't find that one. I can't really tell but I haven't completely used it up and that's because it got kind of like goopy and thick really fast. Like if I open it and like pull it out, you can't see that but there's like little strings of the product like flying everywhere and sticking to it. I did like this. I don't really know what like good qualities to look for in a base coat are. I've never found one that I've been like, wow, that does such a good job. I love it. And I wish I could find the top coat that I used up, but I don't know where it went. I'll try and insert a picture here. I actually really like this top coat. It did really speed up the process of my nails drying and everything. I don't know if it lives up to like the whole 30 second claim, but it was pretty fast. I'm trying out some other new ones at the moment, but I would definitely repurchase that one in the future. And then I used up this deluxe size sample of the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I brought this on my vacation at the beginning of March, just as my only cleanser, just so I could use it up and see what I thought. I've always heard people rave about this cleanser, and I did like it. It was decent, like it did a good job cleansing my skin and everything. But it's one of those products that I'm not like oh my gosh I need that in my skincare routine. I just didn't notice enough of a benefit. I have been reading lately about the long-term effects soy products have on your skin. So maybe if I use this for longer I would notice like an improvement or something but it was decent. I just have other cleansers that I like better and one of those cleansers that I do like better is my Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. This is how I first tried it out in this deluxe sample size. I talked about this in my Sephora haul and I talked about how much I love it then and I am still loving it. It just it's a really gentle cleanser that has these really tiny exfoliating microbeads in them so it just like really gently sloughs off dead skin cells and it just leaves my skin feeling brighter and it looks smoother and it's just it just looks really nice after I use it so I love using it in the morning then I have two powder dry shampoos the first one is just the cake Satin Sugar Dry Shampoo and Body Powder. And the other is the Lush No Drought. Out of the two, my favorite is the No Drought. It has like a really nice citrusy scent, which I love. And it also, it doesn't seem to leave as much like residue and build up on the hair as the cake. It's not like it doesn't leave any build up, but I find with the cake one, if I like run my fingers through my hair throughout the day, they get kind of like a little bit of residue on them, like a powder coating. But I do like both of these. I have repurchased both in the past and I will continue to use both of them. We're almost done guys, don't worry. Next I have this Sage Coconut Kiss Body Spray. Scrub. This is just a mini size. It's an exfoliating coffee body scrub and it has a really nice like coffee chocolatey scent. There's little bits of coffee in it though so it's not the most effective scrub. But I did really like the smell of it and it was a decent product. 
getting down to the bottom of the bag and the packaging is getting grosser and grosser. But this is the Lush Vanishing Cream Facial Moisturizer. I already have a new one of this on the go as well. This moisturizer is one of Lush's pricier creams. I believe it's $42.95 for this tub. But to kind of put it in perspective, one of these lasts me six months using it twice a day, morning and night. So a very little bit of this goes a long way. This is just our lightest moisturizer meant for like oily, breakout prone, sensitive skin. Basically all of my concerns. And I do really like it. I'm pretty sure this is really the only moisturizer I've tried that for sure doesn't break me out. It has lavender in it, witch hazel, shea butter, lots of really good soothing and hydrating ingredients. I am looking for other creams and lotions that will agree with my skin too though. I have a Lush Grease Lightning Spot Treatment. This is a tea tree based spot treatment. It also has lavender, aloe, rosemary, all kinds of stuff in it. I used this for a really long time and unfortunately it is one of those products that just isn't as effective for me anymore. But I found this incredible for fading old acne scarring. Super healing, really good for just like reducing redness and breakouts and really preventing them. I'd take like a full pump of this and just like coat my face in it morning and night to work on any breakouts I did have at the time to prevent further spots from appearing. I wish this still worked as well for me. I recommend this so much. I've tried so many other acne treatments. I've tried salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, sulfur. I've been on medications for it, everything. And this is what has worked the best for me. So I highly recommend this. And I just have a living proof full thickening cream. I've already repurchased the full size of this. It just makes your hair feel basically really thick and full like the name implies. You just squeeze out a little dime size amount of this and work it into damp hair and style your hair like you normally would. And it just makes my hair feel so like thick and healthy and nice. I didn't take any of this on my vacation and I noticed a negative difference in my hair like I've missed having this product with me. Then I have a small pot of the Lush Ultra Blend Face Cleanser. This is an oil-based scalp remover type product. It has almond oil and beeswax in it. It is scent free. It's really, really effective for removing makeup, even like really stubborn makeup. One thing I don't like about this though compared to other oil makeup removers that I've tried is you can't just splash this one off with water. You have to get really hot water on a face cloth or cotton pads and then wipe it off because it is like a really thick kind of like waxy substance. I also find this really healing for acne scarring and breakouts. I have another pot of this but I'm using lots of other makeup removers now. I start using this again I do really like it. The final product is this Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Um, I don't think I can see the shade on here anymore but it was the lightest. I think it's just called Fair or something like that. I finished using this forever ago and I actually I tried to like kind of clean out my makeup collection before I moved back in the fall. And I thought I had thrown this out but then I was just like looking through my makeup drawers after moving and I found it so I figured why not include it. This tube lasted me a little over a year probably about 13 months using it every single day so it was definitely really great value for the money. She was really good. It was really nice for the under eyes and for breakouts. I didn't find it like overly hydrating for the under eye and even though it does have creaseless in the name it did crease in my like dehydration lines underneath my eye and stuff so it wasn't horrible. It's one of the better concealers I've tried but right now I'm loving my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. That's my holy grail concealer hands down so I'm not repurchasing this anytime soon. So yeah that is all the products I've used up over the past few months. I hope you guys stuck with me to the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below and let me know the most recent product you finished and what you thought of it. Also give this video a thumbs up if you love empties videos like I do. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!